or the managing director of the Ghana Water Company, Dr. Clifford Brimer, is addressing the press on recent developments in its billing system. We're going over live to the head office of the Ghana Water Company Limited. He used to be chief manager for audit and then also in charge of business development. But now he changed his portfolio into managing our subsidiary, the packaging plant. <coughs> okay, so our deputy managing director special projects is engineer Peter Devier. He's just arrived. Mr. Devier, shall we see engineer Devier? <laughs> and then on my immediate left is our deputy managing director in charge of finance and administration, Mr. Remy Compare. Mr. Jacob, just in the I some professors left. And then we have our managing director, engineer Dr. Clifford Abdullah Private. And he is going to lead the process today. I need no introduction, but for the sake of formality, I am standing Martin and I am Chief Manager of Communications and Public Relations. We have other managers who are also here, our union representatives. And okay, there's another Chief Manager here, Mr. Christian Seo, who is a Chief Manager of Social Projects. And then our Monitoring and Evaluation Department, uh, Acting Chief Manager, Sen. Akia Park. So we are here, and uh, because we work as a team, we are all here to answer all your questions. And I've told you that as a reputable organization and the wages that we see are being managed, we have opened up policies and we keep out our best and we'll make sure that we answer your questions to the best of our ability for you to be satisfied with your business. All questions will be answered and I promise you that. On this note, mm -hmm. I want to invite engineer Dr. Clifford, Primary Managing Director, to take over. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, once again. I'm sure Stanley had done adequately the introduction, the reasons why we are here. You are aware over the so period of this now, about two or three days, uh, Ghana Water Company has been in the news. We are a company that is supposed to supply water, safe drinking water, to the urban population of Ghana. And so it is our responsibility to make sure that our customers are safe, bills that we give them are adequate and reflect their consumption, and to make sure that we attend to emergencies when they come. And it's for this reason that any time we get into the media and it is not good for our consumers, we should come up to set the record straight. All we are here to do today is to give background and look at some uh, little issues that we have control over. The rest, uh, the media, you can we can make judgment out of what we present. And if there are questions, I am here willing to take them. My lieutenants are here. The three chief managers are here from Accra because they more or less operationalize whatever that we do at the head office. So if there are issues that border on local operations, I'll get them to answer. And if it is about head office, my team will answer. So you feel free and ask any question you want when I finish the presentation. Thank you very much. First and foremost, we want to look at the background of the projects that we had with Softride. And we start with the intellectual property. Ghana Water Company started developing its old application in 2015. And to give another background, I came into this company on the 24th, uh, sorry, 27th of March, 2017. And so Softstripe business preceded my coming. 
in 2015, as part of the digitization of Ghana Water Company, we developed a technology roadmap with plans for the acquisition of a cloud service, cyber security, smart metering, mobile application development, that is for customers, managers, and meter readers. We started registering GPS locations of our customers to enable us proper, to have proper digital addresses of our customers. What it means is that Ghana Water Company started taking the GPS locations of our customers before the Ghana Pools GPS came into being. This allowed some of our regions to send SMS bills ahead of delivery of the paper bills to allow customers to pay their bills on time. This was to solve the problems associated with bill delivery. To celebrate our 50th anniversary in 2015, we developed a mobile application that integrated mobile money payments, fault leakage reporting, and customer bill history. That news item is available online, and anyone can actually look for it, because I searched for it yesterday. Just yesterday, it's still, on, it's still live online. If you go to Google, and then you put the heading, GWCL set to unveil mobile app October 2015, you'll see the story and to give you uh, additional information that will be important for your stories. We were approached by Softripe Limited to discuss a payment platform they had developed called MX Platform that was being used by some institutions in Ghana. We invited them to make a presentation to the company. Their presentations essentially focus on a payment system based on selling scratch card, similar to what the telcos have been doing. And I don't know whether there's a... Uh, the, the, the proposal. You shouldn't do it. Oh, because it's affecting you. Yeah. It's affecting you. Yeah. Okay, but there's, there's evidence to show the proposal. That's what we wanted to. But if it will affect the camera, it's less, less, okay. They wanted to charge Ghana Water Company 4.5% of our monthly revenue as their fees for using the MX platform. The technology team and the technical appraisal committee that were assigned to work with them rejected that scratch card system due to the exorbitant cost a wrongly aligned technology to what Ghana Water Company already has. Technologies like SourceFair service is a globally recognized practice. As a utility company, we also wanted to focus on our core business, that is producing portable water for the people of Ghana and letting other Ghanaian businesses handle the non-core business of the Ghana Water Company. And that was the reason why getting a service provider into the system became something that Ghana Water Company allowed. So we decided to hand over our commercial business documents, functional specifications, existing database structure, and the full customer database to Softstripe to study with the guidance of our staff. We received Public Procurement Authority approval in March 2016 for sole sourcing to undertake this pilot project. Together, we developed tools for meter reading, customer application that's based on knowledge from our 50th anniversary app and hosted them on the Soft Tribe platform. They were responsible for managing the system updates and database engine. And Ghana Water Company covered every cost 
of that particular project. Our formal contracts with Soft Tribe started in June 2016. That's the contract they were trying to show, but once you, you said it will affect your cameras. Due to strong leadership and diligence by management and the technical team of GWCL, who worked assiduously to support the project, the project made great strides. Revenue went up by 14%, which is good news for everybody. Because that is the bottom line. You can carry out your operations without difficulties. And we won awards. We were recognized by the UN Better Than Cash Alliance. GWCL has been the case study for most utilities in Africa. And that is what the relationship got to. Where the challenges started were where Subtribe had some internal challenges. In July 2018, we started receiving mails with notice of resignation of their employees. We have, let me see the, one of the letters. This is an email sent to Ghana Water Company indicating the staff that were, had resigned or were resigning. And if you count them, there are about seven. Their last message came with resignation of seven key technical staff who had been part of the project from the inception. GWCL started experiencing system challenges, most likely due to the lack of understanding of their replacement technical team. We received a letter dated July 30th from Herman Chenere Hesse titled Cyber Terrorism Attack Detection from Softribe, the chairman and the CEO talking about the discovery of time bombs in their source codes and asking GWCL to help engage national security to assist them in investigating the matter. That is 2008. 20, I'm sorry, 2018. July 2018. Sorry about that. National security was duly informed and were written to and our staff were called for questioning. Their staff were called for questioning. The officer they suspected to have engaged in planting those bombs was picked up by national security, detained and interviewed for some time before it was released. This is the letter that came from National Security to Ghana Water Company, inviting our staff to attend. Because if there's cyber attack, it can come from Ghana Water Company, it could be coming from their center. So they needed to also talk to our people. And this is the letter National Security sent to us. That was close to our billing schedule because normally getting to the close of the month, you have to do your billing. And the time they brought that, so we all got panicked and scared about that complaint. GWCL had to rely on our old billing system to, to back up to avert any national crisis because if we are unable to bill, it's going to give us a problem subsequent month, we might not get money to run the operations of Ghana Water Company. So we needed to are put in place to use our old system to do the billing that particular month. The findings of the national security, because when they finished, because we requested for their intervention, national security sent me their report. It's confidential, so I can't give you. The sense and 
the report is very clear in there. At that point, Ghana Water Company should have taken the decision to begin to terminate the contract. But as a Ghanaian company helping us to run our system, and the President of the Republic had informed us, the CEOs, always urging us that as much as possible within our capacities, we should help Ghanaian companies to grow. And so this document was put aside and we gave them the benefit of the doubt. Though national security said it was a false alarm. It was false alarm. I wish I could read it to you and then indicate especially the, the, the summary of the findings. Investigation could not establish the presence of any time bombs as asserted by Soft Tribe in the course of the e billing solution. The forensic team were given access to the demo style to verify, but not real life platform. They didn't give them access to the system. It was established that Ghana Water Company e billing system was porous with a lot of disparities and complaints from customers, staff, and the end users of the software. And all of you can bear with me. There are a lot of people who say that, hey, I didn't consume this much, and you are giving me so much bill. And when your customers begin to complain about the measurements of their consumption, they are not satisfied. I tell you, demand is going to slow. Willingness to pay is also going to slow down. It was established that the e-billing solution had an undefined scope and that it was still under development. That are their findings. The other one that we'll want, I want to mention to you, that documentation was a real thing to the extent that no officer our soft tribe knew precisely the scope of the application at the time of the investigation, apart from their lead developer, Mayor Adibo, the one they complained about and said he might have planted those systems on their line. He was the only one who could. Staff of soft tribe who were brought in by the chairman as witnesses, Dennis Kofi and Penelope Thompson revealed that the e billing solution is the brainchild of Mayor Adibo and that he was given the free will to even do a live demonstration without going through any protocols. That is 2018. This is not yesterday where we would say that because there was an action, a report, this is a report of their request through Ghana Water Company for national security to do the work. Comments and challenges. That in spite of South Tribe Chairman's promise to give our forensic team access into the system to ascertain the facts of the complaints, the investigation team never had the access. They, that the soft tribe, kept giving excuses until they stopped picking up calls from our forensic team. Their refusal to give us access to ascertain the facts suggested that they were just making a story to buy time whilst they solved the problems with the system due to their lack of understanding as confirmed by their own witnesses. That was the report after we asked them to intervene. Mayor Adibo pledged to help them restore the program if they wanted his assistance, but they declined the offer. According to Mayor, Soft Tribe had installed an old version of the, -tribe, uh, sorry, the software 
Hence, their inability to recall data to enable billing to be done. That is the report they sent to us after we made the request for them to intervene. Another critical point I want to do is their recommendation, not the conclusion. That the exit of lead developer poses a high risk to the continuous use of the solution by Ghana Water Company. Ghana Water Company would have to evaluate the risk and take a decisive decision before customers start agitating over inaccurate bills and to also prevent some personnel of the company to take advantage of the situation to cash in. And that was 2018. That's what I said. At that point, we could have started the process. But admonition of the president, this is a Ghanaian company that we can help work together. Whatever challenges are, we should be able to set back and resolve them. And so we will not go ahead. And the other thing that we did when the new board, myself, came is to extend the termination period. In the contract, it was three months. But for the love of developing a Ghanaian company, we brought it to six months, from three months. And so nobody can say that Ghana Water Company is anti ghanaian business. It is not. Nobody can say that. The fact is that the interest of me as a managing director is to protect the citizens of Ghana. And if I'm going to protect the citizens of Ghana, I will use every legitimate means to do that, to protect them. For me sitting here, that is my responsibility to the people of Ghana, that I will protect the citizens as far as I sit here. And we have involved national security in averting several things on our systems. Once they themselves came to tell us that the system was being compromised, it's cause for alarm. Cause for alarm. We started experiencing the following challenges, actually, from that time. Balance on statement of accounts were different from water bills, making it difficult to handle customers' queries. When somebody queries the system, you cannot retrieve information and answer the person, because it's difficult. Billing customers with wrong tariffs. Three days ago, my minister was in parliament and I went to give her moral support. I met the MP for Myon. I'm mentioning this so that individuals can call them. MP for Myon in the northern region. Say, ah, MD, I sent my mother to a house just three months. You brought me a bill of 10,000. Why? I said, oh, did you pay? He said, ah, what will I do? Because they were threatened to disconnect him. Another lady called me. She's Laura Tabusa Saka at the point that she was credited 3,000 Ghana cities on her bill. Instead of her paying us money, we rather owe her 3,000 Ghana cities. But she knew that was not her money. And so that's why she, she spoke about. Currently, myself and my deputy and the commercial chief manager who is in Kumasi currently, but she has a rep here, are solving a problem of a gentleman, one question. What's the other name? Queno. Queno. He lives at uh, the plush estate around the palace. Is it West Hill? Airport, Airport Hills. Airport Hills, yes. He, he lives in Nigeria and USA. He comes to Ghana once in a while. And the bills they brought him over a period were so outrageous. 
So he's brought a complaint. And we are handling it to look at it. They were even charging him commercial. It's sort of domestic. Because the rates are different. If they charge you commercial, it means that you are a business person. So you pay higher rates. And he's complaining. If you're not very careful, we are losing him because he told us he has gotten a borehole. That's Accra East. Yeah. You are aware of the case. Yeah. Another one in Accra East, Roman Ridge. I tried to look for the bill. The man has had a swimming pool. He gets regular water. And the bill that comes to him is zero. And he sent a text, a, sorry, a WhatsApp message to a friend who forwarded it back to me. That our company is a company of jokers. I read it to my chief managers here in our, one of our meetings. I'm sure you can remember. I read it to them. That can you imagine a customer telling us we are jokers? And we don't manage the bills. It's soft that manages the bill. And for me, these are the issues we should have been focused on to discuss. And that's why it has taken us this time. Because the kind of information that is going into the public domain, it's like somebody has breached your contract. There's an arbiter, which is a law court. Why will you want to play your case in the media. So it's scary. And to win public sympathy as against to win based on performance. And I am going to be judged for my performance. <coughs> and my performance will depend on the bottom line. If somebody who has a swimming pool and gets regular water, it means that he showers probably more than two days, two times a day. And so he consumes more water. And you give him zero bill. And I sit down as an MD, I'm concerned. People of Ghana will not forgive me. I tell you, they will not. E-reader application that allows meter readers to read meters don't function. You t they take the reader, and then they first snap your meter face send it to the system before they take the numbers. So that when you come to challenge, we can give you the face of all are not working. And also, it doesn't give us opportunity to monitor. But chief managers, the time we're getting the money is going up, any time we sit in the office here, I open the laptop and say that you, you don't use the application to monitor your, your staff. So your meter readers are doing what they want. When they realized I was watching, then people started up in the game. The only person I used to praise is the man in glasses. <laughs> yeah, because he's always on it. And when whoever gets on to read the time and what you do, I used to see all those things stopped. They were no longer working. Because of that, our revenue dipped from 67 million Ghana cities a month to 60 million. At a point, we're not even getting up to 60 million. And if you are a managing director and your cash flow is taking a nose dive, nobody will tell you to take the decisive action that National Security Report recommended in 2018, nobody. Sometimes we don't even get a system million. It's giving us problems. Any meeting we held here with the union that has to do with their welfare, immediately you talk about no money, ha, and you no money, and you still allow soft try to be here. The union. Uh, you, you can find out. And uh, they are represented here. Oh, yes, I can see Nyami. I can see Votros. You say? Who? Oh, yes. Ah. Hey. Ah. Yes. Ah. Oh, okay. Okay. Let me confirm. These are issues that we are confronted with. 
It is not about anything, nothing. It is about operation and getting the things right. In addition to all the above, as a business-friendly institution, we still give them the chance to fix the problems. We did. Their CEO wrote to inform us that they will fix the problem within maximum of three months. Since October 2018, they have not been able to fix the problem. It is not fixed. We still have the problem pending. They shifted the goalposts and informed us that all is need to do is to buy POS, point of sales service. I do you have a copy here? We haven't picked one. Is it in your office or is it at the stores? The POS. It should be in the office. Pick one. Ghana Water Company with their specification. They gave us the specification. And we procured 252 point of sales service equipment, machines. They are going to pick one. Last year, it's more than a year now, we have not been able to use them because they cannot integrate them onto their system. It costs Ghana Water Company 778,000 Ghana cities to get the 252 POSs. We went competitive, national competitive bidding. And the person that won brought that, we paid. For more than one year, I have not been able to install even one. If you are a responsible managing director, a responsible board, a responsible company, what will you do in this situation? Financial loss to me or who? Because I paid. But I paid based on specification coming from Softrack because the system they couldn't resolve could be resolved if we get that. We got it for them. They couldn't develop a software to, to, to do that. The main issue now. A contract termination. All the issues we spoke about from October 2018 persisted, never changed, and became worse. And so we had to write to the board that based on the inability of soft tribe to rectify the issues that are bringing our revenue down, we want to give them a letter notifying them of our intention to terminate. The board had its 159th session. We did that at ADA. They were invited to come and make a presentation and to tell us why they are not able to do it and why we should not give the notice of termination. So this issue is not just management issue. Travel from management and went to the board. And as a board that also has the spirit of encouraging Ghanaian business people, the board asks as management to give them additional two months. Additional two months. And we had that meeting in March 2019. Two months from March will be May. April, May. Good. When the board presented the issue of the staff turnover, the way they 
they leave the attrition rates. The chairman asks the board what their business is. We pay soft tribe one over one million Ghana cities every month. One hundred and eighty thousand dollars equivalent. Though they had brought initial charge of four hundred and ninety three thousand. That I was accompanying negotiated it to one hundred and eighty thousand. And if you look at the exchange rate now, we are paying them over one million Ghana cities. And we pay the text messages we receive. All the charges are brought to Ghana Water Company, and we pay. When we gave them the two months, they brought a letter stating this issue we are not aware. This issue has not been brought to our notice. It was unsatisfactory. And that's what necessitated me sending them the letter, notifying them of our intention to terminate on the 2nd of September 2019. When I came in, there were a lot of IT systems running in Ghana Water Company. And as a non-IT person, but very critical-minded, I needed to see what was happening where I cannot find anything, because I'm blind. We contracted an IT audit firm to do an audit for us. All the system, not only Subtribe, all the system that we were running, uh, EB Stream. You call it enterprise resource planning, enterprise resource planning software. Yes, that can make us do things online, do whatever that we want online. People in Tamale can see what we do in Accra. I can see what is in the stores in Bolga. All of them, they were just, it was based in Accra. I didn't even like it. So we've started extending it to the other regions. We have to audit all of them. And some of the things the IT audit found as far as soft tribe is concerned, so few of them. That IT company, independent, it's not Ghana Water Company, it discovered that ethical hacking provision in the contracts that we signed with them had been violated since 2016. Since 2016. Even though we pay them their monthly amount without Fail. And as we sit, even when I issue them with that termination, we are still paying them. We haven't stopped. Because it is our payment, we pay the salaries of their workers. And that is why it was unfortunate that day for them to say that what is our business when the staff are going out. Because the bill was based on the individual, the salaries of the individual staff. If you presented to me 10 staff, and because of the attrition, you have only six staff, or seven, or three. The calculation has varied. But they said Ghana Water is not Ghana Water Company's business. And this can be verified. And these are the issues for me, I think we should be confronting in sort of trying to play the game that is beginning to get political attention. But I will not be distracted. I felt very sad that the former president did not find somebody to cross-check from Ghana Water Company on our side. Because all the documents Sotra was displaying were those that they have written to us, especially on allegations. On allegations, dating back 2016. And when I received the letter, 
I, I, I was taken aback. Somebody asking you to pay 25% in 2016, and you didn't find it necessary to send that case to the police or the security agencies for investigation. You only bring it up when a letter of termination. All these things are happening after the letter of termination was given to them. And the letter was written to me. I called the officer in charge, or the officer they have complained about, or alleged those extortion from, to tell me his side of the story. The ministry is demanding the same. And I will also go further to ask the security agencies to investigate that. Because this is serious violation against the people of Ghana. Somebody will ask for bribe or kickback. You went to the MD, and the MD hasn't left the dating for me to see. And that thing had never come to my notice, as we see today, till the letter that I got. Not the letter. If I didn't get the letter, I wouldn't have known anything about that. And we are quiet as Ghanaians. No. We should all be active citizens. He's asked me, I've told him, it's your integrity. After the company, we will do a press conference to state our case. But for those allegations against you, it's an individual thing. If you want to go to court for them to wash you, and Ghanaians will know you are bright, that is your personal decision. And so, if he goes to court to seek redress, I will not stop him as the managing director. But for the letter coming to me, I will go further with it. That the security agencies come, especially CID or BNI. This one, BNC will not come in because it's not about communication. So that they will say that now they have uh, some few problems they might not do. BNI, maybe BNI will, will do that for us because the letter is already written to me. Also, they say soft tribe failed to provide system documentation and backup of their source code on GW's CL service as mandated by the contracts. Extremely poor performance after several technical meetings. We've had several technical meetings, and when I came in, I decided that despite all the issues at the beginning, before the October 2018 one, I will chair the project management meeting every month. And any time I was not around, I asked them to postpone. And they did. Because I needed to take control and drive it. Because it's a tool that can help Ghana Water Company go to the levels that we aspire to go. So there's no way I will wait and somebody will stand on my way. So I personally took interest in it. And they are aware that I sit, and that's where I normally sit as a chair. And they stand here and do the presentation. And I ask the questions that I don't get right. And when the numbers don't meet, I query it for them. And they come to explain. Customer database backup. And I'm sure this is where the issue uh, that generated the heads. We, we back up the, uh, the data, because it's our data. We back it up on daily basis. On 23rd of October this year, we realized they revoked our license to be able to assess our own data from their site. So we thought it was a system failure. And so a meeting was called at the head office here that they had gone for another uh, assignment. So I asked my deputy finance and administration to chair the meeting. It was brought to the attention of David Bolton. He agreed that they were aware that they had revoked our lances. The narrative outside there is different. The narrative there is different. Bolton agreed that they had revoked 
our capacity to back up the data. I was still on my way when I got a call that the meeting is finished. And I said, hey, so soon. They said, oh, it was less than five minutes. The man, what our problem was, and we thought it was a system failure, the man says they are aware. But the reasons, he said he can't make further comments. And I asked that they should tell them, if they don't restore it, I'll stop paying them the over one million Ghana cities a month. And I meant it. If I give you termination notice, you are still supposed to be working, and I'm still supposed to be paying you. And I will not breach the contract. And immediately I got to the office, I wrote to them that if they don't restore our access to that data, within 48 hours, I will stop paying them. And I would have done that. Seriously. Because it's a partnership. It should be win-win. It cannot be win-lose. Anytime it's a win-lose, there's cheating. I will not cheat anybody. So I don't expect anybody to also cheat Ghana Auto Company. No. When they put it back, we realized some informations were not right. And so the routes they took in 2018 by asking Ghana Water Company to seek the intervention of Bureau of National Communication to secure their data for them, I also wrote to National Security. We have the letter here. No, I think it should be down here, I'm sure. Check down. Oh, sorry. Oh, I see it. I brought it. Sorry about that. I'm just trying to. Wow. Maybe it's inside. Check it's inside. Yeah, it's, it's, it might be inside. Oh, no. Wow. Hey. Ah, no. I see it. Yes. The letter is here. 2018, they came and we wrote, and I explained that. We wrote to National Security, and the gentleman, the accused, they picked him up, detained him, got the information they wanted from him. And I also wrote to them, request for assistance to secure our critical customer billing database. That was the heading. The copy was my sector minister, the National Security Coordinator, Director Bureau of National Communication, my board chairman, and the rest are directors and deputies of Ghana Water Company. We write to urgently request the assistance of your office to help Ghana Water Company Limited to secure our critical billing database that is currently being hosted on a platform owned by Softstripe. So, what I did to let them secure our database, because I need to be backing up. If I've given you a letter of termination, I cannot wait when you pull out, then I crash. As a proactive company, and as a big company like Ghana Water Company, we cannot sit and wait till we get to the dead end. No. We are backing up and also behind the scene, preparing to take over. And so national security at that point, I think I sent them the letter on the 7th of November. What would have gone into their operational methodology cannot be answered by Ghana Water Company. I hope uh, nobody will ask that question because we are not part of it. All we did was to request, like they did in 2018, to help us secure our data for the operational methodology, we cannot answer that. We have worked with national security on several fronts. In some countries, and that's what Ghanaians might know, 
water does not fall under a civilian type of ministry. It is a national security issue. And so when we went to Hungary, it was under interior. We just returned from Israel. We wanted to see their water system and waste treatment plant. They only gave us access to the waste treatment plant. We didn't go to the water treatment plant. We did it. Uh, water quality and the uh, chief manager technology, I asked them to go to Sevilla. Because we have some challenges at Weja because of the human activities running into the water. So our filters always have some problems. And when the people came here, they said they had a similar problem and they were able to resolve it. So I wanted them to go and study what they did for us to see if we can replicate it in Ghana. It took us several months for them to get clearance to allow them to go and look at their water system. It's a very serious matter. And when I took over as a managing director, the first thing I did, I went to national security. I said, hey, because after visiting some few stations, I realized, hey, what are we doing to ourselves? I asked them, what are not, water is not a security issue for them. They said it is. I said, but you go to the station, you only see our unarmed civilians, security standing there. Like yesterday when I was entering Ouija. It was open. So I stopped and asked the gentleman, because you've seen a white car, or because I was wearing a smoke, you just open, you don't even know who is entering, and that is the security threat. So we normally use them to do some surveillance for us. So if there's a signal, they can actually tell us, then we'll let our security go. So we want to take this opportunity to also thank them for that, because they've helped us secure the water systems for everybody. So on do daily basis, there's surveillance on our water systems for us. What I'll urge our brothers to do is if there are issues of corruption, extortion, the security agencies are there. Let's not mix them with performance of our companies. And then we have to get the lines sorted out. If the issue of conflict of interest it becomes an internal issue for the two companies. If it is from my side, I work on it. If it's from their side, they work on it. If it is the contracts, there are two termination clauses in the contracts. Whichever we have breached, uh, we ask that I think we should let Ghanaians have some sleeping rest so that we go to court and pursue those issues. pursue those issues in court so that Ghanaians can rest. I'm sure a lot of people are agitated whether they are, it's going to affect, because yesterday I received a letter from PURC that's revenue, which this sub-tribe team, what is going to happen? My minister asked, what is going to happen? <coughs> so people are panicking. But I want to use this medium to calm them down that we are in control. And we will be able to do what we have to do as a company to resolve any problems that come up as a result of the processes that are ongoing. We have given them the termination letter, and at any point of the termination, we could, they could have pulled out, and we could also say that we are, we are gotten to the dead end. If it is the payment that we pay for the rest of the days, that's the issue that we will be discussing. But for to cancel the, the the contract or to terminate, it's, it's, it's a legal document. And if I do it wrongly, all they can do is, or the Ghana Water Company, sorry using I, Ghana Water Company does it wrongly, they can go to court and seek uh, redress. I wish to thank you very much for coming. It's a long story. There are certain things we cannot just say because we want to be focused and go on the technical issues so I want to give you the opportunity to ask the questions.
Thank you very much. Thank you. Do, do a peace summary. No, no. Thank you very much, um, MD. And um, I hope you all had your results well-written, whatever you have to write down. And uh, we'll make sure we get to the best case after here so that at least we can compare what is read, what is said, and then maybe support you in, in, in your life. At this point, uh, we'll see the opportunity to ask your question because I'm sure you will all be privy to what has been going on. We all have read a few of the articles in the, in the media and all that. So if you have any Just respect my brother. What I said was the former president issued a statement, and I thought they would have gotten to us to get our side so that whatever each statement is going to issue, whether to it or anything would have been having some balance exactly, because he's a salesman. But he didn't do that. But the relationship, I'm sure you were talking of uh, the former president. president because I had the uh, Oh, OK. But for the relationship, my brother, it is only soft tribe who can answer that, that one with the greatest respect. I cannot know what is happening in their, in their corner. It's not possible. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes. Malik, uh, you talk about a jump in revenues by 14% on the occasion of the use of the system. I'm going to use that same system after the termination of this contract or a similar system after the termination of this contract. And are you or anybody within the Water Company working with the staff of South Tribe who resign? No, these are, these are the two questions. Yes. yes, they are the two questions. Let me let me answer them. The first one, uh, there's, the platform was developed jointly by Ghana Water Company and Soft Tribe. Ghana Water Company had to send screenshots of our billing system to them to adopt and put it on their platform. Ghana Water Company trained their staff, the existing staff at the time, to be able to understand the kind of business we do, then they adapt it in the IT level. And so the knowledge is out there. It is not only some tribe that can develop a platform that can do billing. No. It's just like all of us, I might be using this Huawei, this iPhone, they are all phones. And they communicate. And so to ask that, we are going to use that platform or a similar one if the principle might be the same. And in school, they teach you the principle, and it is when you are operationalizing the principle that you might have some differences. Otherwise, it could be, it could be a similar thing that we run. But we have run billing before. And the August 2018, when they mentioned to us that they couldn't have billed for the, the, the July bills. We use our system to build. And consumers didn't even notice it. It was only those of us at the office that noticed that we had used a different system to build. But we did the billing. And so we continue to do that, even in the absence. 
Or you will discard it? No, no, discard it. Of, of course. It's, it's on their platform. It's not on ours. We only have a server that takes the backup. We can't use their system because they haven't been, they were supposed to have given us the, access, the code, but they didn't. And so we don't have access to their system. They haven't given us the code. And that is why what the, we said the, it was even a breach of that contract. The contract said, because we jointly own them, they should give Ghana Water Company, but they didn't. You can find out from there whether they've given Ghana Water Company access to that. They haven't. And for Ghana Water Company, I don't think any former staff of Soft Tribe is working with the Ghana Water Company. No. Not to the best of my knowledge. Probably maybe it's a part time in a region. Mr. Kuyo, have you recruited anybody without my knowledge? <laughs> Now, where is Mr. Oji? <laughs> and uh, Enin? Mr. Begu? Have you recruited anybody without my knowledge? No, sir. So, I don't think, no, he's not working with anybody. I think my question was actually whether the person has been recruited. Oh, okay. Combined consultancy, um, either directly to the company or to somebody within the company. No, no, that was an emphatic no. That way it would have come through me. No. And that's what I, that, that's, he's just said we have expertise. That, that's what I have uh, noticed when I came in as a, a former, lecturer, still a lecturer in a way. <laughs> uh, All right, thank you very much. Okay, so, yeah, um, this, but I, I don't, no, you all have the opportunity, so, yes. Yeah, sorry, thank you. My name is Christian. Please, um, My name is Christian. I'm representing EFT here. Yeah. Let me, uh, some pride claims your letter came to them as a surprise. We've been listening to the managing director of the Ghana Water Company Limited, Dr. Braima, as he addresses the press, especially in regards to allegations that were brought against the Ghana Water Company Limited by Soft Tribe.